This is looking weird, my room. Um, I am redecorating it, which is why it was taking a really, really long time for me to be making this video. Um, I've been so busy, but today is my first day back of, at school and I am not excited for it at all. I, I just want to stay in and sleep, but I got to get ready to go. So I just got out of the shower because I wanted my hair to be nice and clean. This little strand is going to be killing me. Ugh, but it, the only way that I could like clip any of this back is with this because I don't know where my other little clips went, my little bobby pins. Um, so I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be showing you guys how to, oh I just dropped my phone, how I'm going to be doing my makeup for today. I'm trying to uh, get out of the way of the window there. Alright, so obviously I put on my moisturizer first because I just put that on every day a couple times a day. It's really good to have moisturizer, it really does help clear out your acne, which I am hoping. Now, because I do have a lot of acne and lately they've been just all over the place, I don't want to like wear too much foundation. I just, I don't really think I want to wear any actually because they, my acne just started getting worse again and I don't want to really start that up again and make it worse than it already is. Um, so I'm just going to be doing like some basic things. So this video would be relatively short and won't take too long. Um, so yes, so yeah, so I just put on my moisturizer and I am going to take my concealer. Let's see if I could find it. Yes. There we go. I'm going to take my high coverage concealer and I'm going to put it on under my eyes because I haven't slept in a really long time. It's been a couple of days. I've been really busy. Um, so I'm just going to apply it like this on both sides. So I just put on the Sephora high coverage concealer. This was $18. It's such a small tube, so at first I was like, oh, I won't really be getting my money's worth, but you don't need a lot because it does go a long way, so I think that it is worth the $18. Um, Alright, so I'm going to take this brush first before my beauty blender, and I'm just going to blend out and kind of pull it down what I've already applied. I feel like doing this uh, with this kind of a brush is much better than with a beauty blender because you can really have more control over where it's being blended to. You could really pull it down where it needs to be. So already that's looking so much better than what it was a few minutes ago. So I'm already just prepared to go to school right now as long as, you know, it, you can't tell that I haven't slept in like three days. Then it's all good. <laughs> all right. So then what I'm going to do is I can't necessarily get right underneath my lash line with the brush. So I do take my beauty blender and I take like this part. I probably should have cleaned it. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go clean my beauty blender. I forgot to do that the last time I was gonna put it, but I got lipstick on the edge of it. So definitely don't want that on my face. So I'll be right back so I could go wash this. All right, so I am back with my beauty blender. It is cleaned. So now I can actually use it because I don't want to, uh. Like I wasn't, I'm not too far in my makeup right now. I just did like one thing, but I definitely don't want to uh, ruin it because I want this to be a stress-free morning because I am so tired and not really looking forward to going back to school at all. So I don't know. I'm only really excited for my art class. Um, other than that, I'm just really waiting for semester two. Because my day, like, my every day will look like this. I First period, I go to cosmetology. Second period, I go to cosmetology because it's a 10 credit course. Third period is English. After third period, I get to go home for the rest of the night, except for on Mondays and Wednesdays when I have my after school classes. But then I just have to come back at, like, 4. And so for most of the week, I'm done at, like, 1 o'clock, really. Like, maybe even, like, 2.15, I think is when period four starts, something like that. Yeah, I think, yeah, so I get to go home at like 2.15 in second period and call it a day because I got lunch and then I have a spare. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to period, uh, to semester two, but semester one is going to be the annoying one because I have a full uh, days, all every day, all day. <laughs> um, so yeah, so now that I've done that, I'm going to 
find my other concealer. Here we go. Is this the right one? Yes, it is. Gotta double check to make sure that I'm getting the right shade. Uh, I really should have been doing that when I was buying them, but uh -huh. I bought the lightest shade that I could find at the moment, at that point in time. And then a month or two later when I was running out of it, I was running out of my foundation and we went to buy some more makeup and I found my actual shade a few months later. But the other one worked really well for like, for the whole time actually, like it wasn't like not my shade entirely. In fact, with the foundation that wasn't my shade, it actually worked perfectly fine because I bought the lightest foundation that I could find, but it was a little bit dark for me. It's the same like company and the same uh, lineup of makeup for the concealer and the foundation, which is one of the reasons why they ended up working so well together. Um, yeah, so now I have successfully covered up the bags under my eyes. I no longer look like death. Um, now what I am going to do is gonna do my eyebrows because you know, first day back you gotta get those nice eyebrows. So I'm gonna put a little bit there. And I'm just gonna put some concealer around my eyebrows to help create that line that I follow when I um, kind of shape them. I always follow this line leading concealer. So I'm going to take this top part right here, the little top part of the uh, beauty blender and just blend that up so that way I get like um, the lines right here when the eyebrow ends. So you'll see I'm just doing this and shaping them with the concealer and then I will go through with the eyebrow gel and finish shaping them. But I create like this little line with the concealer right here. And that is what I follow when I put them in. Now if I, fit, now if I just like stopped it here, it doesn't look that bad because the concealer kind of helps shape it a bit. But I do like going in with the eyebrow gel because I just love my eyebrow gel. I love it when my eyebrows look full. Oh gosh, I don't even, I don't even see it. I, oh, there it is, yeah. I was moving things around and then a lot of stuff got knocked over and I'm trying to find everything. Um, but obviously I can't like do too much because I'm running out of time. Um, cause I still have other stuff that I have to do before I get to school. Um, but yeah, so I just fill in the bottom first and I get that nice like cut there and then I'm going to go fill it in with the top. I like to hold my eyebrows up when I do this and I've gotten so good at it that I just do quick strokes and it just fills right in but that's just because I've been doing this for a long time I've been filling my eyebrows since the ninth grade but I started getting it good at it Ooh, how long ago was that now like seven months ago was when I started getting really good at it maybe even a little bit before that but yeah so that eyebrow is so good <laughs> I'm in love with it actually. This eyebrow is always kind of the best for me. I don't know. Um, so yeah, on to the next one. Gonna go under it. And you might see me like doing this, which looks really weird, but I'm just holding my hair back because I can't do it with this hand and do my makeup with this hand. It would just, I can't use my right hand for everything. So I have to use my left hand at some point. So that's why I do this. And I'm just gonna fill in the top now. All right, and now that I'm done that, uh, I like to go through and do one last time. With this well look at me making mistakes ha 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 isn't that fun all right well yeah this one always looks higher than that one uh, I feel like I should like yeah see cuz I don't have them 
uh, I don't have my eyebrows completely symmetrical before I put on the makeup. So then when I put on the makeup, it's not going to be symmetrical either. So I don't really worry too much about that though. Because I wear glasses with really thick frames, so it's not that noticeable. It's, so I don't usually worry about that. But no, this eyebrow is always going to be my favorite eyebrow. And right now I'm just kind of filling in at the front. Alright, so the next thing that I do to my eyebrows, if you watch my videos a lot, or just any of my other videos, you know that I always use my eyebrow mascara and it just helps hold it in place all day and I love using this this is my favorite thing to put on my eyebrows it just shapes it holds it into place and if you have really light eyebrows get a shade darker in this and it will actually um kind of tint your eyebrows I love this one though I, it's actually in my shade because well it's actually lighter than my shade I guess because my eyebrows are black and this is a brownie brown. That's what it's called. Um, so, yeah. This is probably not all I'm going to do. I'm probably going to wear some lipstick knowing me because I just can never get away from that. So, I also always wear highlighters. So, I'm going to do the highlight right now. Um, now, I want to use the one that I got from Sephora because it's really cute. But if I use this one, I tend to contour because it has pinky undertones in it and it looks like I'm wearing blush and highlight at the same time so it looks weird if I don't contour so I'm not wearing that one um because I don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup today um but I want to wear makeup so I'm gonna wear the one that I got from Lush it's the Feeling Younger I love this one so much it was actually up for the longest time until I got that one my favorite highlighter um yes yeah, so I just get some on the end and I smile when I do it and I make a little L shape here I just put on a lot. I love highlight. I love it when it's dramatic. So I'm going to move on to the next side. Was just a little yeah and then yeah and obviously because um the window is in the way i will turn to face the other way once i'm done all right and then i like to put them at the corner of my eyes to kind of brighten up my eyes especially when i'm tired And then under the brow bow, just right under the bone, not under the bone, but like right under the brow, right on the bone, just to highlight that a bit. Um, I think I'm going to go through and add a little bit more on my cheeks and on my um, cheekbone. That was a weird bird noise. I've never heard a bird make that noise before. I have this tree outside my window and every winter, 7 a.m., there's like 20 crows or ravens on that tree and it's insane and it wakes me up every time. Like I didn't need an alarm clock. I was woken up by nature every single morning. I'm going to miss it, honestly. Like all summer, I kind of miss being woken up by the birds. I was like, oh man, I could have woken up a lot sooner if those birds were, you know, on that tree <laughs> but they're back so I'm glad they're back for school help me wake up in the morning for school um yeah and then obviously because I like a lot of highlight I like this highlighter it's a powder but if you take like a damp beauty blender which I have because I washed it um I just kind of put it on a bit more highlight and I like the powder on top of the liquid, I guess it is. Yeah, liquid. Because it kind of helps it stay there. It's 
kind of like a press powder almost when you layer your when you layer the powdered onto the liquid that's how i think of it um all right i've gone through and i have highlighted pretty much all of my face and i'm just gonna go grab my favorite lipstick i'm pretty sure it's in the purse that's up there i have a little well not a little i have um a little coat rack there i just hung all my purses up because damn one wants them to get damaged and all my coats and stuff i could just hang up in my closet so that is for my purses now so i'm just gonna see if my lipstick was in this one Yes, I used it over the weekend and I put it in the bag so I'm just gonna use my phone for this and kind of face the, get over here and face the window um I put on makeup all the time so but no I do it I do really like doing like simpler makeup like this something that doesn't hide my acne but you know it just It's simple and it makes a huge difference but it's not too dramatic like it doesn't hide my acne so this is pretty much how I would do my makeup every day just sometimes you know a little bit of eyeliner too I'm not feeling like that today I already messed up on my eyeliner yesterday I'm not I don't want to have to take all this makeup off when I have time, so. But yeah, so uh, just simple makeup. This is something that I would do every single day. Something that doesn't cause my acne to start up again. It already has started up again. Um, it's gone away, started up again, countless times over the past month and it's getting really annoying. Because, um, I don't know, like, I just, I have one now right here. And it frustrates me to get all this acne, but I can't really do anything about that. So, I'm just gonna go out and, uh, live my life, you know? Um, but yeah, so that is how I'm gonna go to school today. Well, with my glasses, of course, because I need to see... Um, but yeah, so I did dye my hair brown for my back to school photos because it looked really weird having blonde hair but black eyebrows and I was like, no, I can't, I just, I can't do it. I need to <sighs> dye my hair again. So my hair is back to its original hair color and it's weird seeing my original hair color. Because, of course, the last time I saw it for was in the 6th grade. And then I didn't see it up until this year. So that whole time I was without my natural hair color. And it's so weird seeing it. And especially like looking at like old photos of me and seeing my natural hair color. And then me now. It's really weird. Um, but yeah, my school photo. It is not trash. And I do love it. I'm going to see. Where did I put my wallet? Here we go. Just grabbing my wallet on my purse. Um, I really do enjoy the school photo. Um, it's a lot better than last year's. It's really cute. And I honestly adore it so much. Like, it's a nice school photo. It's not horrible. I mean, it's not perfect either. Like, I feel like I should have parted my hair down the middle. So that way, that weird thing didn't happen but it's still really cute and I'm so impressed with the makeup that I did that day I did like contour and stuff like that and it turned out so nice so I'm really proud of myself for that and that um it was not a disaster like last year because I was just dreading like oh gosh like what if I'm accidentally like like blink really hard because of the light or like you know I was just freaking out and I was like oh gosh like what if it makes me look bad but I was so lucky because uh, there was this, we were standing in lines and there's two lines 
well there's one line but then there's two different people that you go to so the line kind of splits off and the one lady she's on the right side and she was sitting there and she was like okay so you need to like do this she was like commanding right like she was like you got to do this you got to do that and like usually when people command you to do stuff your school photo isn't gonna look good because you're not comfortable but then uh, the lady on the left, I'm so glad I got her because I just kind of like stood there. I was like, okay, here we go again. It's just going to be like, she's going to tell me what to do. So I just stood on um, these little feet that they have on the ground, like the little feet stickers. There's two sets. So this says one and then two and it's in different positions to get different like side angles and stuff. And I just stood on it and I just kind of stood there. She's like, do you want to cross your arms or are you fine like that? And I was like, I'm fine like this. And she's like, all right. And she just took some photos. She's like, stand on feet number two. Do you want to stay like that? I was like, yeah, I'm comfortable like this. She's like, all right. And then it was like 30 seconds and I just left to get my photo ID. And I was like, okay, that was a really great last year experience with school photos. I was comfortable. I wasn't panicked. I got to choose how I stood kind of. I don't know. It was just all around a great experience. So uh, back to school photos were great for the most part. Um, obviously the fact that the summer is over uh, was kind of a sad realization for me because I've been working really hard to do my room and it's not done. I still need to paint the, this wall. I need to like get putty on it because there is a lot of stuff. Because obviously I have a lot of posters and when I took them all down, <laughs> um, the tape and stuff had caused damage to the wall so I got to repaint it, clean it up. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of disappointed that I don't have as much time as I wanted to do my room and to make my room more functional. But I am super excited because now I have a functioning like little office space, which is great for me. It's not like large or anything. But before uh, this was actually facing the opposite way and I had the bookshelf right here. And then I also had a queen size bed. So my room was like 99% bed and 1% like anything else. And it was really stressful because I had to sit on the edge of my bed to use my laptop. Um, the chair that I had there, I couldn't really get to. Like, and I, if I did, I wouldn't really be able to sit on it because it was covered in stuff. Like clothes and baskets and stuff. Because I couldn't put my um, laundry baskets on the floor because there was no floor to put my laundry baskets on. So, um, but no, and then I moved my bookshelf. So it's here now. And I really like this space now. It's a, like I still have the queen size mattress, um, but I did get rid of the bed frame. So that did free up a lot of space because that frame had a bookshelf attached to it and stuff. And it was insane. Um, but no, I really just want to finish doing my room. And that's all I really wanted to focus on. But then school started and I was like, oh, isn't this going to be fun? I'm going to be so busy with homework and so busy with all my after school classes that I won't get a whole bunch of time to finish my room. But it's fine because I have to finish it like within a month, basically. I have to finish moving stuff around and get it all cleaned up in a month because that's when my new bed comes. And then after that, like it'll be fine. And then two months from now, I'm getting my new nightstands, which is gonna be great because I would love to actually have a place for my plant. So I'm just pretty excited about that. So. I don't know when I'll be able to get, like, be able to make these videos again. I have absolutely no idea. I've been so busy lately with my room. I'll be so busy with my room and school and work. I'll try to do these on weekends because that's usually when I'll probably have some free time. And if I do make videos within the week, I'll probably upload them on weekends anyway. So I think weekends will kind of be my, I don't know when I post videos, I guess. <laughs> Kind of my um, schedule, just every weekend post something and then get on with my busy life. Um, I really just do this for fun. Um, that's kind of the whole reason why I wanted to create a YouTube channel was because I thought doing makeup was so much fun and I just wanted to do it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go now because I got to get ready for school. I'm hoping that my hair will be dry by the time I got to go. Um... But yeah, I will be making another video later. Uh, comment down below if you have any specific types of videos you want to see. Because uh, I could do pretty much anything and I could talk about anything. Like if you guys want me to do reviews or anything on any product, I could see if I can get it and stuff. Um, 
But yeah, so that is it for now. I will see you guys later.